This servant girl has been throwing herself at me in a most disgusting manner. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to today's performance of Crassius Curio's The Lusty Argonian Maid. I'll be going with an Argonian, but the character is based on a long line of tales, so you can choose any race you like. I am but a poor Argonian maid. I used to be sweet on a curve. Crassius was an Imperial, so let's do something different and follow Hadvar into the field. Use unarmed attacks to deal with the storm cloaks. Or grab a one-handed weapon if you intend to complete the main quest with this build. Collect the light armor, but not the two-handed weapon. Harvest the garlic for leveling alchemy. Then take the two daggers and the mage gear from the torture room. When you reach the bear, Use the daggers to sneak attack Hadvar, and level to 60 sneak. Once outside, start collecting snowberries, and more tapanella. Activate the thief stone, Accept some charity from Alva. Then take his garlic and the woodcutter's axe downstairs. Could you take the letter from Feindol, and say it's from Sven? But side with Sven and tell Camilla the truth. Enlist Sven as your protector. Good work. Then get the garlic from his house and hopefully a backpack. Loot the treasure map from the Illinolta bandits, and the enchanted items from the dead Thalma. And collect Nordic barnacles from the sunken barrow, and the wreck of the silver moon. I'm Don't trouble yourself with Anise. But do take the flawless emerald nearby and the bandit treasure. Roast some salmon over an open flame. Then scoop up the salmon row. Help yourself at Hunting Brew Meadery. Then pick a single cabbage and sell it to Severio Pelagia. Ride with Bjorlum to Riften. Then collect the confiscated goods. Have the Riften Guard to deal with any threats. Then obtain the Amulet and Blessing of Xenathar. Start picking scaly foliota. Then enter the city. Your voice down. Want everyone to hear you? Spare a septum. Divines bless your kind heart. And sell off your loot. Remember to sell things one at a time to maximize your experience gained. 
You can level speech further by using persuasion on the jailer. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? And to help Shadra with Sapphire. I guess I made enough of shit. Then by Muffle from Wylandria. Talk your way into Whiterun. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Then chop some firewood. And sell it to Holder for garlic. And free board. Spare another septum. Then help Carlotta. And remind Mikhail of his honor. I guess I just didn't want anyone to think I couldn't handle one more glass. You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? Collect the garlic from Carlotta's stall. And house. And there are a couple more in Severio Pelagia's house. Offer your services to the Jarl. Another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Then tidy up his kitchen. And clean out his fish pond. Head north to Halted Stream Camp and approach it from the southeast. Carefully drop down into their mammoth trap, then enter via the back door. Cast Muffle, then just sneak by the bandits and take a mammoth tusk. Bring it to Isolde, this should turn that old cat's gaze, and she will give you more speech training. Raw trade. Wagon your way to Windhelm. Then collect the creep cluster growing near Kynes Grove. Pay a visit to the Grey Quarter and offer to help Revan Sadri. Deposit the ring in Viola's dresser. Then get the well rested bonus from the inn. and brew potions from Garlic, Nordic Barnacle, and Salmon Row to level up. Return to Revan, and he will become available as a speech trainer. Buy some training, then sell him the potions for your money back. Keep leveling and buying speech training until you reach 50 speech and can access the merchant. Assign the Mage Stone. Then cast Muffle to power level Illusion. Just wait an hour to restore your Magicka. Or better yet, sleep at the inn. Once you've reached 100 Illusion, take a ride to Winterhold. Join the College. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, Travis. And speak to Drevis for the illusion ritual spells. Here at the college, but it is hidden from those who might misuse it. Prance around casting spells all day. Then bring him the text for access to the master level illusion spell. Set sail for Solstheim. We'll cast off immediately. And buy a banished weapon from Glover. Buy petty and lesser soul gems, making sure you keep at least 50 gold. Return to Skyrim and go directly to Dawnstar. Investigate Ironbreaker Mine and extract all the iron ore. Collect leather strips and animal pelts from your friends' houses.
and skin the wolves that spawn near Riverwood. Tan the pelts to make more leather strips. Then forge as many iron daggers as you can. Disenchant the few enchanted items you have. Then enchant the iron daggers with banish. You can sell the daggers to buy more soul gems. The enchantments you need for the build. And the materials to forge more daggers. You could also use them to buy training. And the other illusion spells. Whatever you decide to do, just keep forging daggers and enchanting them with Banish until you reach 100 enchanting. Step over to Solitude, then purchase a new outfit, and enchant it with Fortify Alteration and Fortify Illusion. Venture over to Redwater Den. If you're looking for a fix, you're at the right place. Get a free sample. Sure. Find a booth and enjoy. And sip some skooma. Once you awaken in the cage, take the telekinesis spell tome. Calm everyone down. And leave there alive. Levitate an object with the telekinesis spell. Then open the map whilst holding down the cast button. Fast travel to the college. And you will arrive with 100 alteration. You can then talk to Tolfdir for Ebony Flesh and Paralyze. Wander westward from Whiterun until you come to the Golden Hills Estate. Pacify the undead to avoid fighting them. Then head inside and push the button in the cellar. Reading the journal on the alchemist's slab starts the Unquiet Dead quest. Go back outside and head east towards the trees on the hill, where you will find Rin's skeleton next to the well. Take his wooden sword, then place it in his room to put the family's souls at rest and earn yourself Here. a farm. Take this for all your hard work. Chop some wood and mine some stone, then construct the exterior decorations. Plant 12 creep cluster, 20 more tapinella and 12 scaly foliotum. Then just wait inside for 24 hours and go harvest your crops. You will then have to wait 72 hours before you can harvest again. Enchant a set of alchemy gear. Then combine the crops to level to 100 alchemy. Saunter over to Shimmer Mist Cave. And grab the two Falmer helmets in the main chamber. Buy some circlets, gloves, necklaces, and rings from Radiant Raymond. Then see the Khajiit for Grand Soul Gems, Stone Flower Petals, and Drew Wax. For the final touches, you can get a set of tavern clothes from Lies Retreat, 
and the fur-lined boots from Shriekwind Bastion. And you can always make yourself a nicer backpack. Wander up to White Ridge Barrow on Solstheim. Spell your way past the spiders and bandits. Then open the portal to Apocrypha. Grab the fast healing spell tome and activate the Seeker of Shadows. Go to Severin Manor during the day, then brew an enchanting potion from snowberries and either stoneflower petals or drew wax. Switch to the Seeker of Sorcery. Then enchant an improved set of alchemy gear. Repeat the process to craft a further improved set of alchemy gear. Then combine the rest of your ingredients into enchanting potion. Enchant your outfit to reduce spell costs and improve your stamina for obvious reasons. If you want to use this build to complete the main quest, I recommend obtaining the Shrouded Hand Wraps from the Dark Brotherhood. I say we take our relationship to the next level. You can then sell your potions and use the money to buy one-handed training from Athos. Alternatively, I think this build is an excellent candidate for reverse pickpocketing poison. To level pickpocket, I like to use Sibby Blackbriar. Just give most of your gold to a follower, then place the rest in Sibby's inventory and pickpocket it back. You can use any poisons you like, but combining Chokeberry, Mora Tapanella, and River Betty makes a powerful damage health and lingering damage health poison. You can also combine Mora Tapanella and Scaly Foliota for a decent illusion potion, or add Watcher's Eye for a more powerful version. And Blind Watcher's Eye can be combined with Grass Pods for alteration potions. Grass pods are plentiful on the northern coastline, and you can buy chokeberry and both watchers' eyes from the Khajiit. Finally, to finish leveling Sneak, head to Safa with Tolfdir and sneak attack Arnyal Gain. I would also recommend the Lordstone for that additional armor and magic resistance. Then, complete the Book of Love quest and bring the light to all of Tamriel. To rift in my pet, how you'll adore the city. Oh, and to be with you. I love you. So I hear. Come here. It doesn't matter. I'm here. We're together now. And we will be forever. Carry the blessings of Marrow so the rest of the province may shine. Complete the Heart of the Bella quest to become a master of the Debellan arts. Join the Bard's College and become a Matron of the Arts. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. Yes, congratulations, you are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Here's take care of Vilkus's sword. Go take it up to Jorland to have it sharp. Help the Reeklings polish their spears. 
help Rarich with his little problem. Mind handing it over to him? Just say it should solve that problem. Oh, yes. Um, uh, thank you. You've got some gold for assistance and discretion. Need your master's loaf? Strap your stuff and turn all the guys' heads. Cause a scandal in the Isle's court. Reminisce on the old tales around the campfire. Repay the Aranos for helping Crassius in his time of need. and earn a place in the Emperor's staff. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and a special thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel, leaves a comment, or likes the video. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Thanks again, and see you next time.